Okay, now we will be talking about Turtle Sim. Turtle Sim is a basic simulator. Uh, the meaning of Turtle Sim uh, is only to learn to use ROS in the basics on what we will be doing on, on the next courses or the next lists. For example, you will be uh, very familiar with nodes, services, actions, something that you can test in a simulation environment without having a robot just to learn the basic of, of ROS on how interoperates between their programming experience. So the first thing that you need to do is for example I made it but you need to do that is uh, install turn to sim for example sudo app update I will not do that uh, so you first you do sudo app update and later you sudo apt install ROS humble turtle sim. With that, you probably get installed the turtle sim simulator. And next, you try to check if turtle sim is installed correctly. ROS2 package executables turtle sim. You will check that Turtle Sync has some uh, tools installed. For example, you have the Draw Square, the Mimic, the Turtle Sync Telok Key, and the Turtle Sync Node. Now, for starting, to, starting Turtle Sync, you just do ROS2 run. Usually, you put the name first of this, it goes first the name of the package. So here goes the package name. And this here goes the node name. So for the starter to the scene, um, this uh, is actually when you run a node, you do this, Russell run, and the package is called turtle scene, and the node is turtle scene node. You will do it, enter, and you get this uh, very uh, interesting window that has a turtle and just a plain square box. It's a dummy work. If you start turtle scene each time, you will see that probably uh, your turtle change of uh, form factor just is very random. That's just uh, a thing to know. Now, if you want to interact with turtle scene, you can run the teleoperation key, ROS to run, run, we'll do this, this one, turtle scene, turtle teleop key. Now we have it. Here we have Let's let's see if we can move this a little bit here. Okay. Um, here is the teleoperation key is for interact with the keyboard. You can interact with the arrows or this custom call of orientations. For example, are I think are um, actions more than services because you can cancel. Later we will explain what's the difference between service and actions. Uh, one thing to do is you can check all the services, action, nodes, topic, and, and things. We will just be typing commands and not explaining what is a node, a topic, a service, or an action. Just to see what is visible when you start the scene. So ROS to node, node list. You see here you have um, two nodes, Telop Turtle and Turtle Scene. If I kill this window, obviously the node present only will be Turtle Scene that is present. So let's see which topics are present now. ROS2 topic list. We have uh, parameters, event, parameter events, result, and some uh, 
topics that we, we can uh, subscribe or publish for example the velocity of the torso the color sensor and the pose of the turtle was to um, Lexis services service list we have all those services for example clear keo reset spawn will be uh, playing with this a little bo a little bit have another in services that are for the teleoperation keys and for the same the same about the those are for the parameter server and these ones are for the um, teleoperation of the turtle are the services that you can use and the actions plus to action list we can interact with the absolute rotation of the um, of the turtle now for playing a little bit more about an understanding um, the basics of ROS we will install a tool, a very common tool that is used for debugging and also uh, doing commands but graphically uh, it's called RQT so again you do sudo apt update I, I did that that's why I'm not uh, typing the command sudo apt install um, then you can do I think uh, and ROS humble RQT dash and this will try to install RQT to run RQT you just type RQT and it's present the RQT window here you see that there are some services that you can uh, show or test and some actions that you can show there's there are a uh, default uh, tool type here uh, a tool a tool bar that we can use later it's very helpful when you try to debug or or set some parameters but we'll keep it as simple as that for example let's move the turtle mm, uh, with the up down left and right keys and you see that the turtle obviously is moving okay why we open uh, uh, RQT because we will use the clear service just to see that we can uh, clear the window if you call it you see that the service is called and then uh, the main window has been clear obviously you can do another things like try to spawn another turtle let's try to spawn one spawn let's move it to the position one one no rotation and the name of the turtle is let's say turtle two okay with this we set only on the graphical interface you have to call it and you will see here that you have another second turtle in that position if you do let's open a, another window if you do ROS2 um, action list you will see that you have now two actions and the same for the nodes and services now each turtle has um, has been in a read, uh, some service and actions and, and probably in uh, new nodes regarding to his own uh, entity so let's try to um, for the first turtle put uh, a pen type to let's uh, draw in another color for example uh, where is a pen and uh, set pen let's green 127 and blue 127 the white of the rush let's put it to 10 
um, and so we have to call the service okay practically the service ha has been uh, set for the turtle one so when you try to rotate here you see that now the pen is uh, thicker and also uh, is kind of green because we set the these colors to that okay another thing that you can do now is to uh, try to control the second turtle because as you see this turtle has been only for this uh, activated for for this one only the first turtle you can do it using rkt and let you know or experiment how to set rkt and the second turtle but we will do in something that is very useful that is called remapping so i will explain why it's very useful and you and um, let's uh, continue later for example let's say you have some package and the package is about lighters okay so you source your lighter but in your robot your, your lighter is colored let's say uh, front lighter and in the package that is um, in operation the lighter is only called lighter so remapping uh, will take the lighter name and you can remap the name for the lidar that you have for example and that way you can do it or not more programmatically or on the uh, uh, on the window try to remap in uh, by the command line tools but uh, you can also do it using on the launch file or on on setting on, on your program that those are just some different kinds of things that you can do using remapping so let's move and remap to the second turtle, ROS2, run, turtle scene, turtle teleopkitty, turtles, teleop, uh -huh, okay. And we can use this thing to ROS2 arcs, ROS only, ROS arcs, remap the turtle one. Command L to turtle to command L. What we are doing here? Well, remapping the command bell of the turtle one to the command bell of turtle two. In that way, we can use this window to start controlling the first turtle, the second turtle. Sorry. If you want to control both turtles, then you have to open the window and, and start the teleop key with the second uh, turtle. But if you want to, let's say, remap here, let's do that. Okay. Now you can control the second turtle. So that is the basic things about this let's move it um, a little bit just to see just a quick uh, quick thing let's just to check the the graph the computational graph of this window with turtle scene just to understand a little bit what we are doing later it will be a little bit easier to understand everything right now we are just testing with command line interfaces was to run rqt graph rqt graph okay now some topics all here okay this one are the topics we have a um, topic for a status and to wait for a feedback but practically this is a service uh, are writing to, to the teleop node and the command velocity is writing to the turtle scene node so everything let's say starts between the command velocity to turtle scene node and then 
giving action and feedback for these uh, services and is uh, getting from input to the teleoperator node and looping back to the command velocity. Just to understand uh, a little bit how is everything. You can also group, group sorry, <coughs> in terms of level how we can see these things. You see here, this is for the turtle one, this is for the turtle two, but turtle two is mapped to turtle one, so that's why we are moving just the turtle one. So I hope this keep a little bit clear what is happening on on ROS. Uh, probably tomorrow I will be the, doing something about nodes and topics to keep expanding the knowledge of ROS. Thank you.